Hi everyone, it's a gorgeous day out today. So I thought we would do some finger painting outside so that we're not making our houses any dirtier than what they are. So we're gonna make three projects today. Um, we're going to need three pieces of heavier paper if you have it. We're gonna need some blue paint, um, some yellow paint, red paint, pink paint, and white paint. Um, and if you have green paint, green too. Otherwise you can mix yellow and blue to make your green. Um, so we're going to make this. It's going to be a flower with some bees and stuff on it. We're going to make a cactus pitcher. And we're going to make a card with a pineapple on it. So get your supplies together and let's start painting. So our first painting we're going to do is our flower painting. So we're going to need whatever color you want your flower to be. Um, my flower is going to be blue. So you are going to take a fairly wide brush and we are going to paint our hand that color. So I'm going to do my left hand because I'm right handed, but you could do whichever hand you wanted. And we are just going to paint our hand we want to get quite a bit of paint on it. Oh, I've got some on my paper. That's okay. We're going to get our whole hand blue. I'm going to add a little bit more paint to my, right onto my hand because I obviously didn't put enough on my palette. So if you guys can see, I've got like a palette over here, but a great thing to use at home if you don't have a palette is an ice cream lid or a plastic lid of any kind, or like maybe a throwaway plate so that when you're done, it's easy cleanup. Okay, so I have my hand all painted blue. So now I'm gonna stick it down and I'm gonna cover where I put paint on and I'm gonna make sure I push it down. I'm gonna stand up and get some real good weight on it. Okay, then I'm gonna pull it off. And I always have like a little space in the middle for my hand because I have a like an arch in my hand. So I'm gonna color that in and I'm gonna add a little bit more paint, I think, down my one finger. It didn't show up very good. So you can just add a little bit of paint anywhere where there wasn't much. There you go. Okay, so to make cleanup a little bit easier, I filled a bucket, an ice cream bucket, with some hot water and some soap. So that in between my colors, I can give my hand a wash. So I'm going to wash all the blue paint off my hand. Okay. Give it dry. So now we got our flower made. So now we're going to put a bee on our flower and a, a couple more up at the top. And we're going to put some little plants at the bottom to make snails. So my bees are gonna be yellow. So I'm gonna use my middle finger. And I'm gonna get yellow paint on it. And I'm gonna put one bee here on my thumb. So I'm gonna just push it down. And then I'm gonna dip the end of my finger in so it's all covered. And I'm gonna put just a little dot on top so it makes like a little head on my bee. So I'm going to do that two more times. I'm going to put one flying, I think, up here. And put a little head on it. It's going to go that way, I think. And then I'm going to put another one, a little bee, I think, up there. I think we're going that way. Okay. Rinse off my finger again. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the wings for our bees because our bees need wings. So I'm gonna take the same finger and I'm gonna put some white paint and I'm gonna put two little white dots side by side. So they kind of look like wings overlapping. Okay. So let's see if we can really show you guys. So I'm gonna put one wing kind of going ahead and then I'm gonna put one wing kind of going backwards. It's the same on this one. One, two, two wings. Okay, so all of our bees have wings. So 
So I'm gonna rinse off my finger again. Now we got one more thing to do on this picture before we move on to our cactus. We're going to make some snails at the bottom of our pitcher. And I think I'm going to make my snails red. So we're going to make their snail shells. So I'm going to put a snail, I think, right here. I'm going to use my thumb so it makes like a nice oval. And we'll put another one over here. Maybe there's a baby snail too. Let's make a baby snail. We'll just use the end of my thumb. So it makes kind of another little, a little more oval. So there we go. So there's our first one. We've got our three little snails, our three little bees, and our flower. Your flower is gonna be a lot smaller, so it's gonna look even better. Okay, so we're gonna set this to the side and we're gonna let it dry. All right, so our next picture is this really cool cactus that we're gonna build. So you can make this into a card too. Um, if you wanted to send to somebody, it's pretty cool and your guys' hands will be small enough. So to make a card from your paper, you're just going to fold it in half. Um, my hand's too big to do it, so we're going to make mine like a pitcher. Okay, so the same thing, we're gonna, I mixed, I had to make some green paint, so I made some green paint. And now I'm going to color my hand green. Uh, again, we don't want to be cheap with the paint. We want to make sure we get lots of paint on our hands. Nice and covered. Okay. This one we're going to stick more towards the bottom. So we're going to stick it on. Same thing. We're going to make sure we push it down so we get good coverage from our paint. I'm going to peel our hand off. Okay. So anywhere again where there wasn't a lot of paint, we're going to just paint it in with our paintbrush. So I'm going to put a little bit more paint, I think, in the middle here. And I'm going to put a little bit more on my pinky finger. It didn't work very good. Right, put a little bit more up here. All right, so that's the base for our cactus. So to make the little, little arms on the cactus, we're going to take our pointer finger and we're just going to dip it in the paint. And we're going to add some like little arms. Um, if you want to make it look more kind of 3D, take and add a little bit of yellow paint or a little bit of blue paint to your green and it's gonna make it either a light shade. If you add yellow, it'll make it lighter. And if you add green, it'll make it, or blue, it'll make it a little darker. So I'm gonna add a little yellow. So it's a little bit of a different color. So it looks like my little cactus arms are a bit of a different color and maybe they're, uh, they're coming out from my cactus. So we're gonna just stick a couple of them on our things. On each of our fingers. So it looks like it's a nice old cactus with lots of little arms on it. So you can put them wherever you want down your fingers. Two or three on each. So I'm gonna put three on my pinky finger. Okay. There. And then give it a look and think, okay, does it look okay? Do I need to add any more somewhere? Does it look okay? How you want it to be. I think I'm gonna add another little one up here and maybe one coming out over here. There. Okay, so I think my cactus looks pretty good. I'm going to wash my hands and my paintbrush again. So, since it's spring, we are going to add some flowers to our cactus. So we're gonna use some pink and white paint. So I got some pink and white here, and I'm gonna just take them both and kind of stick them over to the side. So they're mixing together and they're making kind of a, a mixed up color, okay? So it's got a little bit of white, a little bit of pink all at the same time. All right, so to make flowers, I am going to use the very tip of my finger. So we're going to use a tip and we're going to dub it in and we're going to put four or five petals. We're going to try to do five, but if we can only do four, that's okay. So we're going to make one, two, three, that one's only going to be four. So let's do a little bit more here. 
here. One, two, three, four, five. That one looks kind of cool. Um, And if need be, you can go back over them if they ran out of paint. That's okay. Um, and if you want, you can make some buds for your cactus flowers just by putting one little dot. So maybe there's some cactus flowers that haven't quite come to bloom yet. So we're going to make some buds on our cactus. Um, I think we'll put a couple more flowers on here. I like, I like the buds personally, but you can do whatever kind of flower you want. There. Okay. So once you get it as good as what you want, we're going to let this one dry and then we're going to come back and, uh, oh, actually, you know what? Before we do that, I guess we should put some centers to any of our flowers. So I'm going to take the end of my paintbrush because it's a nice little round and I'm going to put it in the yellow paint. And I'm just going to dot in the middle of any of my full flowers. So it makes a nice center to my flower. Okay, now that one's all done and ready to dry. All right, so we're going to start our last project, which is our card with a pineapple on it. So we're going to try to put it in the middle of our paper, or more, I guess not quite the, but we're going to put the pineapple in the middle, but more towards the bottom or the top whichever you want, because we're going to write um, stand tall on the card when it's finished. So you have to decide, do you want it to say that at the top or at the bottom? Because that'll help where you place your pineapple. So I'm going to put mine across the top. So that means I'm going to try to put my pineapple more towards the bottom. So we're going to do four rows of pineapple. Um, and we're going to put three in the first and then two of four and another of three. Ooh. Okay. So to make our pineapple sections, I'll show you guys the card. So to make these, I mixed yellow and orange in on my finger, okay? So I took the yellow and the orange that were side by side on my palette, and I just stuck my finger in the yellow, and I stuck my finger in the, or in the red. So I got this like, nice kind of different colored orange. So I'm gonna pick where I'm gonna put my thing, and I'm gonna put one, and then if I want, maybe I want the next one to be a little bit more yellow. So I'm going to put it in the yellow. Two, three. And you want one of your fatter fingers, right? Because we want to make pretty good sized sections. So if you need to use your thumb, use your thumb. Um, my middle finger works really good for this color though. Okay, so the next row we're going to put four in. So let's do one, two, three, and four. And we're going to do another one with four. And one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to do our bottom one for three. So and I'm going to kind of make them go out so it kind of looks like the bottom of a pineapple. Okay, so there is my little pineapple pieces. I'm going to rinse off my finger before I touch my paintbrush and get it all, all the handle all dirty. Now to finish off our pineapple, we're just gonna take our brush that we've been using to paint our hand with, um, and we are going to make our leaves. So I'm just gonna take some of my green paint that I used for my cactus, and I'm gonna go up, push down, and then let it go. And that's gonna make the point at the end of your cactus or your pineapple leaf. So start, I'm gonna push down, and then let go. Drag it up and let. don't put any pressure as you're dragging up, okay, you guys? So. And we're going to put some leaves on our pineapple. I kind of made mine a little plump at the bottom. With like the base of our pineapple crown. Okay, 
Okay. So again, to make your pineapple leaves maybe look a little bit 3D, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some yellow paint and you're gonna mix it on your brush that's already green so that you have a lighter color. And then we're going to take and make sure that we pick what side we want the sun to be on and then we're going to paint the tops of those leaves. So my sun's gonna come from where the sun is today. So I'm gonna put a little splash of yellow across that leaf. And I'm gonna put another one across the top of that leaf. And this leaf. And across the top of this leaf. So then we kind of got this little two-toned leaf so it looks more 3D. So now this is all done. We're gonna let it dry and then we're going to add our words to it. So um, since I've already done a set of cards, all of my pictures are dry. So we're gonna start with our pineapple. So I'm going to use um, I think a red marker. Um, and I'm gonna write stand tall on the bottom of my card. So you guys can write this out first with a pencil and then trace it with a marker if you want so that you get your spacing right and everything. Um, I'm just gonna freehand it today. Okay, so there is the front. And then on inside, you could be, you could write whatever you wanted. Um, so, the wind's picking up. Our stuff's trying to blow away, you guys. Um, maybe I'm gonna send this card to my sister. She lives in the States. And I'm gonna put some dots on the front because it's stand tall. And then we're gonna put, and. Wear a crown. Love, Megan. So you could decorate the inside too if you wanted, whatever you want to do. So there's our card. So now we're going to finish up our cactus picture. So we've got this beautiful green cactus with some pretty pink flowers for spring. Um, but what do cactuses have that we're missing? We need to put some thorns on it. So we're just going to take a black Sharpie and we're going to draw some thorns on our cactus. So I'm just going to go down and you guys are just going to add some thorns or spikes to our cactus. I'm just drawing little lines every which way. See? Oh yeah, there we go. So you can put as many or as few thorns on your cactuses as you want. Um, you just want to make sure you get some down at the bottom here too. Maybe have bigger thorns at the bottom because it's the base of your cactus and it's the oldest part. So you're gonna cover your cactus with some baby thorns, some big thorns, some little thorns, and make sure you put them every which way. Because if you've ever seen a cactus, they all kind of grow upwards, but they cross over and they go every which way on it. Okay, so. There we go. There's my cactus and its thorns. All right, you guys. So now we're going to finish our flower picture. So I've got my bees. So I'm going to go around my wings on my bees with the black marker. So they're easier to see. And then I'm going to draw some lines on my bee and maybe put a little stinger on them. 
So all I am doing to do that is I'm just making little half circles from the top of my B to the bottom of my B. And then I'm putting a little stinger on the end. So you can put two or three, however many fit. And then I'm also going to put some little eyes, I think, on the end of my bee. Because why not? They look like they should be happy little bees. It's spring. So there are my little bees. Okay, so then we've got our snails. So my other card that I started with was pink for my snails. So to make my snail, I'm going to decide which way he's going first. So then I'm going to draw his head. And on the other end, I'm going to draw his tail. And then to make him look like a snail, I'm just going to draw a circle going around in the middle. A spiral. So there we go. So there's my one snail. I'm going to draw my other snail. It looks like he's maybe going up towards the, the flower. There we go. Okay, so now to make our flower, um, if you guys have crayons or pencil crayons, you can totally use that. Um, I didn't bring any out with me, so I'm just going to draw my stem with a sharpie here. And color it in, and I'm going to draw some leaves. So, and then you can go back and you could draw in some grass around your snails or across the whole part of your picture if you wanted. You could color in the background as much as you wanted. Um, I'm going to take my black marker and draw a little eye on each of my snails. And there we go. There's our bee fl and flower spring pitcher, all done. Um, so you guys could do whatever you wanted to finish this off. You could also make this into a really cool card for Easter um, by just making your hand. Uh, maybe you could just use three fingers or four fingers so it may look more like a tulip. Um, it's totally up to you guys. So I hope you enjoyed doing some finger painting with me today. Um, get outside, enjoy this beautiful spring weather that we're having, um, and feel free to send me some pictures of what you've done through our Facebook account. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.